Welcome to the SCUBA Continuous Intelligence training videos. In this video, I'm going to be giving an introduction to SCUBA Intelligence. And at a high level, I'll be explaining what SCUBA is, what it's commonly used for, and at a very high level, what are the main features. SCUBA Continuous Intelligence is fundamentally a platform to do self-service analytics against time series data. We are a time series data warehouse with a built-in query engine and a UI that our users interact with to do no-code queries. There's also the option to use an API to do programmatic querying against the time series data warehouse. Our customers will store their semi-structured data and they can store massive data volumes. So billions of records per day, if that's how large their data volumes are with year over year retention. And in the UI, users can run queries against that raw data and get results in seconds. Our customers can also do things like do data governance and do things like define new user segments and they can um, you know surface deep insights against their behavioral customer data and this is all set up as a managed service by our teams at scuba and it's provisioned in your cl cloud provider of choice so moving forward what is scuba so as i said it is a time series analytics platform and we find our customers most commonly using it to get answers for things like customer engagement, customer retention, um, to build analytics or dashboarding around conversion rates, or doing things like customer journey analytics to look at sequences of customer actions over time in a very easy, intuitive, and visual way so that they don't need to be a data scientist or have a PhD to be able to ask complex questions and get answers in seconds. These are all questions about sequences, meaning that because it's a time series data warehouse, we're always asking things about periods of time or sequences of time. So for example, if I wanna ask the question, how many customers do I have? it's always asked in context of time, right? Even if you ask that question, there is always a beginning of time when your business started to now. Or are you asking how many customers do I have today or in the last month? Or you can even think about revenue. What is my revenue? Well, are you asking that about revenue that you've ever had? Or are you asking about revenue in the last day, month, week, or quarter? And so our customers ask questions like, how much time happened between things or what sequences of events led to good outcomes or bad outcomes and how can I improve my products or services to ensure that those desired outcomes are actually happening with my data. So the tools that we use in the UI to answer these sorts of questions and to cover these sorts of analyses are the following four, which is our Explorer Query Builder, which is a self-service query builder, our Boards feature, which is a query sharing and collaboration tool. It can also be used as an individual workbook. We also have an Apps feature, which are purpose-built query builders, so that you can ask very complex questions around things like customer journeys or retention, and build it very easily um, without having to be an expert. And then lastly is our data builder. So with that, you can govern your data. You can do things like define new columns, create rollups or aggregated columns, or define segments of users. Um, and then you can also manage who has access to these things. Who am I sharing this with? What teams have access to the data? So I'm going to quickly move into the UI and just show everybody what these things are in the UI. So on the left panel here, I'll start from the top, is our dashboard feature. So 
uh, every query that you build in the UI, whether that's in the Explore feature or in one of the apps, you can pin to a dashboard. And so in the dashboarding feature is where you can not only choose and visualize a specific dashboard, um, but you can also uh, maintain them, whether that's sharing them um, or editing or improving them. And in the dashboards, every single one of these panels is a query that you uh, build and then visualize yourself within our Explore feature or one of our apps. So at a very high level in the Explore feature, this is where you will spend most of your time within Scuba. On the left is where you will define no-code, uh, plain English sentence model queries. In the visualization pane over here is where you can then toggle between the different visualizations that are available in the platform. And there's also options over here to change how these numbers are represented, or you can do things like pin and share queries as well. In the app section, we have purpose-built use case uh, builders here. So if you want to build a customer journey query, you can come to the flow builder and follow the steps to build a customer journey analysis, for example, or a retention, AB view, and distribution. And lastly, this is the data governance tab. You can explore all of the columns and the fields or values that live underneath these columns. And you can choose who is exposed to what, who can see these different things. And you can also begin to create new definitions. Like if you want to create an aggregated column or a rolled up definition or something, um, or if you wanted to define things like segments of users who did certain behaviors. So this is the end of the navigation training. Please feel free to watch the other videos for much more in-depth query examples and how to use the functionality of each one of these features. Thank you.